I don't know. I agree. It's crazy. We were streaming and looking at prices of this set. If you were one of the people that jumped on this when we were streaming on that Friday night to the Saturday, you Things lucked stupid out. Cheap. You were getting Zwart Defeats for a fucking dollar. Zwart Defeats, a secret a secret rare a really good secret rare the what used to be like the black and purple top end for a time for a dollar was insane now they're like for sure five they're bucks dollars now. now they're like eight to nine because of all the buyout shenanigans that happened i don't think that they'll fall down though because again the fact that you, you were getting secret rares for a dollar who the fuck wouldn't buy play sets if not two to three play sets of these? I remember That's... back in the day, bro, when I bought my case of BT5, I was playing Zwart Defeat in so many decks. I had at least like three play sets worth. And that card was like $50 at the time because sure. it was just so good. The fact that you could now have three play sets of that shit for $12. I mean, it was like 60 bucks for a while, to be honest. Yes, absolutely insane the damn i was just looking at uh prices real quick they just dipped again yes they're, they're, they're they fluctuate mem boost are under a yeah. dollar you can get mem boost for like 50 cents about which is awesome because you could previously only get them in a starter deck that you had to pay 13 dollars for to get one of each well and mind you actually too even though we're getting the uh, training cards, you still run mem boost a lot with them. Yes, don't sure think the don't, training cards don't are think that, the mem boost. Yeah, don't think that you don't run mem boost still. Like that, those cards are still important cards to have, important cards to put in decks. Like the training cards help them out, like decks out a lot, but those those don't go away. You don't play training cards in every deck. Some decks you just are just not viable for the training cards. Memory boost are eternal memory is always good a search is always good it's absolutely the things that you can get here uh, the, you know what sealed it for me when i looked at the pulse mon the promo pulse mon that they reprinted that was the, the alternate art for this when it came out i want to say it was like 25 30 bucks and a week ago and probably still now it's about seven to eight bucks pulse mon promo reprint 12 cents dan and Jeez. i remember a time when the only way you got you got this card was by attending a pre-release of bt4 and that was when this that was when the game was starting to get product available but product was still expensive things were selling out so these cards were obviously expensive original pulse mods were what dan 40 bucks 30 they were, 40 bucks fuck, yeah for real. they were expensive yep. in the bt5 when i was playing because loose um Lucy, lord nightmon lord nightmon bro they, they were expensive when i was playing i remember they they might have still been 30 40 bucks then they probably were because they were a really good they were a really good yellow rookie they still are in my opinion you should definitely have a place that especially now that they're 12 cents like and speaking of lucimon you know unfortunately i you know ten dollars isn't that but on Friday, they were like $6 for Lusamons, which was insane. This set, honestly, if you're a newer player, you love this set. If you're a competitive player, you should love this set. But I'm not going to buy anything. Nothing is here for me. No, 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 no. There are cards, Kaiser Nails. The only way you get Kaiser Nails, Kakaitis Breath, Blue Starter Deck. You could get singles. But at a point, I think Kaiser Nails were a couple of dollars. That's not expensive by any means. But are you really going to complain about a uh, 12 cent Kaiser Nail compared to a $3 Kaiser Nail? Because uh, I don't think I would. <laughs>